What is up fellow gamers, Animo here back with some adventure as well as actually on. Today I'm going to show you how to unleash the potential of the Archmage class, how to essentially nearly double your DPS compared to what people actually um, do on this specific class. So what I'm going to show you here is mainly about Elysium. Here we have Elysium, just gonna run the Player Voyance, Neoma with Vainglory or DPS, just standard farming setup in most cases, unless you're fighting really hard uh, monsters. So the idea behind Elysium is this. You have a low cooldown ability that also benefits from a boost in Arcane Sigil. So the Elysium proc should technically deal a lot of damage. You have a boost, you have a spammer ability, makes sense. Most people are going to say that, oh, once you get Elysium, Archmage becomes broken. Uh, Archmage isn't very good without Elysium, and so on and so forth. That's what I heard since the release of the class, pretty much. And I know for a fact that probably 99% of people use Elysium when they play Archmage, if they have it. So, if we do some testing here, we will notice not the camera tool man, the battle analyzer here, that uh, this is usually what we are looking for. So you will most likely use the offensive mode, which also gives you some dodge. Not super reliable to fight these mobs. And then you will spam your second and third skill. But as you can see here, I'm kind of close to dying because I'm using the offensive mode which kind of benefits Elysium, and that is my DPS right now. About, about 10k DPS roughly, nothing too crazy. And then for farming the other mobs, you'll see here that these, these are the hits I'm looking at. So, some crits here and there for about 2k, and then the Elysium proc on top, which hits for about almost 4k so i can farm the low hp mobs somewhat reliably in most cases on most maps but as i said because you sit at full mana essentially since the arcane sigil also grants mana region on the stance that benefits elysium the most although there's a way to use the defensive stance and elysium as i can show you here this is the defensive stance and you're trying to use Elysium basically by making yourself low mana. But the problem is that if you're trying to use Elysium, you cannot make yourself low mana even on the mode that doesn't give you mana regeneration because you have to spend this ability in order to get an Elysium proc and Glacial Impact, but that skill grants you mana. It costs the mana, it grants you 15 mana. That's why the Elysium proc ends up dealing quite low damage. On other classes, you can easily make Elysium deal 10k, 15k, 20k. Uh, my record is about 50k, like solo, on uh, Chaos Shaper. Something like that, anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the correct way to play Archmage is to use Valiance, because that way you can sit in the defensive mode and bring yourself to low mana reliably in order to make use of the immolation here's the thing this ability does damage and dot based on missing mana on top of that if you check what the sigils actually do you'll read here that casting siege hurricane flux into corporeal ascension gives you 60 percent crit chance and the 60 percent crit chance makes your dps quite Quite reliable, as you can see, I'm way over the 100% right now. So that's even better, although your crit chance is pretty high even in the other mode. That's not really the biggest concern, but this is for sure going to equate to some DPS. Now you'll see that the other mode grants you 5% haste. Though that usually isn't a problem because I'm going to be close to 100% with Valiance anyway. And you also get 60% dot damage, but the dot damage in this mode is going to be faster. It's just going to hit harder. So there's just no real idea 
about Elysium. There's not really any benefit to be in Astral Ascension in general or to use Elysium when you can just benefit from this DPS. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. We'll just use the Battle Analyzer here. Uh, ideally you want to not die here once you cast this because it burns all of your current health so if you're unlucky you might die. Here I got myself to this uh, region which means I'm in the Corporal Ascension and then after that I'm looking to blow my mana using 2nd and 4th skill I just spam it and then you'll see this is the DPS that I'm going to get. As you can see it's way way higher than the 10k DPS well about 10k DPS I was getting earlier. I stopped it because I killed the mobs. You can see this is the type of DPS that I'm getting, around 20k DPS. And you cast your Supernova whenever you want to deplete your mana. Because the spell itself doesn't do that much damage. Although it still does something, so it's not super bad to use. So as you can see, my DPS is on average doubled. Because my dot and my immolation is hard hitting. Plus, it's just easy to use since I just have to sit in my defensive mode and only use Arcane Sigil once this debuff expires. We have it here. The Arcane Sigil gives me the spell boost to my damage. When that expires, you can uh, refresh it to gain more damage. Although if the mobs are really low HP, you don't have to do it. And as you can see, it's super reliable of farming in general, even the low HP mobs. I'm going to clear them very quickly. Why? Because the immolation is very hard hitting once you are low mana. You can get 7k crits here as you can see and that is pretty much how to use Archmage properly. Simply low mana build with Valiants in the defensive mode Corporeal Ascension. If you see the Astral Ascension journal Using Elysium is just the inferior way to play this class. And it can even give you decent DPS at soloing stuff in general. Maybe you want to farm something, for example, if I go into, let's say, Ruin Crown. Maybe there's somebody farming there. Great. There's people farming in Ruin Crown. So, my single target DPS is way better with this mode. Which means that I don't have to constantly swap classes as long as there are people helping me clear this. Because I just don't have to invest that many uh, resources. So we can just be in the defensive mode. Deplete my mana, chill, farm some monsters. These ones are a bit higher HP, but we can still farm them very quickly, as you can see. Yes, it takes some manual effort. I would uh, say that the Exalted Apotheosis one <laughs> with Elysium is simply a little bit more autopilot. But yeah, we can also contribute to the boss with this mode. Not a big deal. Just be at low mana and reap the benefits, what can I tell you? And obviously, you can also be very tanky with this mode, even take an Isanthropotheosis, just because of the base stats that you get from Valiants. Of course, you can get a really fat HP bar if you simply uh, take a helm that doesn't have the negative endurance thingy. But that's pretty much it. As you can see, the DOT goes over 5k. Once you build up some stacks. And that's it fellas. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like and sub button. If you want to <laughs> see more stuff like this. Because hey if you guys like it. If I keep getting views. Subscribers. Then I'm gonna keep making stuff like this. Not just for classes. But even for optimizing other gimmicks. Such as farming certain things and whatnot. Whatever comes on my mind if I have some idea if I remember something that I've done in the past I might just make a little video to help you guys have some extra fun and progress in this game and just don't forget to just play around and experiment yourself just because everybody plays Elysium 
on this class doesn't mean it's actually good. Use valiance and leave the benefits. Anyways, thanks for watching, fellas. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.